Hi everyone, in this video I want to talk about probably the most popular calculus book uh, that's being used in the U.S. right now. It's Calculus by James Stewart. Now there's two versions of this book. There's the uh, Early Transcendentals and there's the regular one. This is the regular one. There's just some slight uh, differences in the ordering of the topics, uh, but no big deal. It's a pretty good book. Let's take a look uh, inside it. So I'm just going to go through the table of contents and talk about something else as I go through the contents because the contents are pretty standard. So I use this book for a class, uh, Calc 1, 2, and 3, so for three classes actually. And um, I found that it was difficult to read at times, you know. Um, looking at it now, I think, ah, it's a great book, I love it, it's fantastic. But when you're in the class, it's always very difficult to read the book that you're using uh, for your class. Uh, now, that being said, I still think it's a good book, and you can probably get one for only a few dollars. And it covers all of the standard stuff uh, that's found in Calc 1, 2, and 3 uh, if you were to take those classes uh, in the U.S. Um, I don't know what books they use in other countries, but I know this book is like ultra popular uh, in the U.S. Uh, most schools use this book or the Larson book. Uh, I personally use the Larson book uh, to teach where I work, uh, but lots of other colleges uh, use uh, the Stewart book. All right, let's focus on the contents now. Ooh, infinite sequences and series. That's my favorite uh, chapter in all of Calculus 1, 2, and 3. I love infinite series. I really, really do. 13 is on vectors and geometry of space, so now we're looking at Calc 3 stuff here. All right, Calc 3, vector functions partial derivatives, multiple integrals, then we go into some vector calculus. This book is huge. I mean, this book is ginormous. I mean, look at this. Let me just pick it up so you can see it. I mean, that's just, that's a thick book, right? Um, so let's take a look further inside this book. So again, the readability of this book is okay when you're a student. Um, after you're a student and you've had some calculus, you look back on this book and you think it's great. Um, and that's always the case. It's definitely a good book, uh, and it's worth owning because you can only get it, you could get it for only a few dollars um, if you get a used edition. It's got tons of exercises, uh, and if you go to calcchat.com, they have answers to all of the odd-numbered exercises there. So again, it's calcchat.com, and you can find answers to all of the odd-numbered exercises. I think what calcchat is, is that it's like the solutions manual, but it's online. So you get like the solutions manual, worked out exercises, worked out solutions uh, for the odd numbered problems. So that's it. The book is Calculus by James Stewart. If you're trying to teach yourself calculus, I think you should definitely get this book and just get a used copy to save yourself uh, some money. Just get the oldest, cheapest one you can find. That's it.